back. We're diving in. We've got natural gas. Five minute chart. This is the futures chart that we're looking at right here. And I'm just going to do a quick breakdown and show you some pretty crazy entries from today. So you know that today is the natural gas report, which comes out an hour after market open. So let's dive into this. I'm looking at the five minute chart, but let's come down to maybe the two minute chart and let's back out to this morning. So right after midnight here, you can see it was sort of just moving up and down in a range, right? Touched to here, touched here, and then worked its way up and then came right back down to that level. So this is important because there was more volume involved here and here this morning than there was over here or over here with these touches. So the fact that it came back down with more volume and still bounced off that floor, we got our floor set up like we did yesterday and the day before, then it pushed up, pulled down, sorry, went up, pulled down, touched again, came right back up. So now you've got this nice floor that you can you can play off of. So if you're a pre-market person, you could have been watching this and this and this, and then you could have played this. So at 5.38 this morning, and actually let's look at UGAS, which is the corresponding ETF, and at 5.38 this morning, which would have been right in here, you could have taken a long position with pretty good confidence that you had the floor, the support level. So if I switch over, let's grab this tool and we'll measure exactly what your profit could have been. So if you'd have gotten in somewhere in this area and you would have held up, not even to the peak, but even just up to where you got some, started seeing some red bars, that's 2.7% right there. That's quite a move. That would have been, that could have possibly been your trading day. You know, and it would have been 6.02 mountain time in the morning, 8.02 east coast. So incredible but that would have been a nice nice early morning play that you could have taken on you guess now let's go back to forward slash ng let's look at natural gas some more after that happened so at six o'clock mountain time it pushed way up broke way out of this range now when that happens because of let's draw some more circles here because of the touch here and because of the touch here, or close touch, we blew through this. So when you blow through an overhead resistance, now it has a strong probability of becoming support. So when it trickled back down, you could have just set an alert and waited for it to come back. It came back here, touched, and now you're after market open. So I'm gonna zoom in. This bar right here was the market open. You could have bought that bar. So let's go to DGAS again because that's our corresponding ETF. So let's see. I'm sorry. I meant UGAS. And right at the market open, right at 730, right here, we got that big push down. And you knew from forward slash NG, the natural gas futures, that you had a floor in this area. So you could have bought right at the open, trickle, 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 spike down, and then a rip up. So if you were in anywhere in this area, say, say you got in maybe in here somewhere, and you held it until you started getting a red bar. Let's say you exited halfway down that red bar. 1.5% right there. So you had the big move from before, you add another 1.5% to your trading day, you're done. Easy day. Natural gas just went crazy. Now, you had to be aware of the fact that the natural gas report was going to come out at 830. So when you bought at the open and you were holding it, you don't want to be holding that as we get into that 830 um, time frame because that can wreak a lot of havoc. 8.30 my time, 10.30 East Coast. But look what happened when that report came out. Massive rip. 
So then once you're up there, things are overextended and you got to be watching things for possible pullbacks. And let's see, actually, no, sorry, 8.30 was right here. So this was the natural gas report. This big guy right here. Boom, big rip. If we measure that. So natural gas report caused about a 4.5% gain, which is just unbelievable. So those are some possibilities that you could have taken on you guys this morning using forward slash NG the futures to get an idea for your support and resistance levels. All starting right around midnight. So if you would have gotten up this morning and looked back and found these points, you would have had somewhat of an idea of the channel that you were in. And you could have said, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to try and buy once we get some confirmation. And really, you know, confirmation meaning we got the bounce, then this candle is opening up green, and then this candle holds, doesn't break back below. This would have been a great place to go long on the corresponding ETF, which would have been you guys. So I hope you guys caught some of this stuff today. I didn't trade it. Um, kind of wish I would have. That would have been exciting. But... Um, Anyway, leave comments below. Let me know what you traded. Let me know where you got in, where you got out. And also, let me know where you drew your support and resistance lines. Did you use this data from, you know, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning moving forward to help your trades? So anyway, hope it was a green day. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.